Yes, but I assume you're here for a little bit more than that. Dynamics 365 is a CRM, or more accurately, the CRM is one of the components in the Dynamics 365 suite of business applications. What we're looking at here is Dynamics 365 Sales, and it does everything you would expect a CRM to do, plus some things that you may not have even thought to ask of a CRM, especially if you're coming from spreadsheets or an older system. So your CRM is about managing relationships with your customers' accounts and contacts, as well as your your entire pipeline process from a lead coming in the door through a sales opportunity and closing that as a one deal, as well as all of the activities that go on with it. So I have all of my accounts inside my CRM. Let's click through and have a look at one of these Northwind traders here. And what we're getting on the screen is a complete 360 degree view of everything that's going on with that account, which is what you want from your CRM. All of the details about the account and where it is, a timeline down the middle showing all of the activities from all of the different people across the organization, either directly at that account level or rolled up from the people that we're working with there. We've got a reminder here that's prompting us for an opportunity that's going to close soon, as well as all of the details for the related people inside that account, the contacts. So we have a hierarchical relationship here between an account and multiple people who work for that account. You've also got the ability to have a hierarchy in here to go up to other accounts, or if you don't even want to use accounts at all and it's all about people, then you can totally operate just at that individual level of contacts. Drilling down here, very similar concept, all of the things we know about the person, as well as that timeline there. And importantly, this timeline is natively connected to Outlook. So your activities, tasks, emails and so on are all just coming through synchronized in there depending on what settings you want. You don't need to build any integrations. I'm going to show you a really cool piece shortly around Viva Sales that makes that even easier that comes with this. So we're managing all of that information and relationships about our customers, the people and the organizations they work for. Generally speaking, the main thing you want out of your CRM, in addition to managing that account and contact relationship, is working with leads and opportunities. So what is your pipeline process? And what we've got here is a lead that's come in, a brand new lead that's come in, and we have this guided process flow that goes from qualifying a new lead right through to closing a deal. If you don't want to use leads, you don't have to use leads. You can work straight with opportunities, which is often what happens in a B2B scenario. But let's have a look at the complete process here. We start with a new lead that's come in. We've got a bunch of information. Perhaps someone's filled this out on a web form. And then we actually have a sequence, which is something else that's going on inside Dynamics 365 Sales that allows you to set up a predetermined series of steps that the seller should follow. So we've got here a new lead nurturing sequence where we send out a template templated email, and then there's going to be a reminder email and a step to call the customer over a period of time. Let's say we've gone through those activities here. This is a legitimate lead and we want to move it further. Then we just click qualify at the top here. And what this does is takes that lead, converts it into an opportunity, creates the contact record, creates the account record and links all of those things together so that you end up with an account with a related contact and a related opportunity, and it happens in the time that it takes me to explain all of that. All of your notes or anything that's gone along with that has come right through to the opportunity, and then I could click through here to see the details of the person or the details of that account, which have all been created automatically for me. From there, we do the work and go through the sales process here. We've qualified it, and the opportunity goes through develop, propose, and close stages with suggested actions and tasks along the way. Now, everything in here can also be configured with Dynamics 365 Sales. It's all low code configuration. So you might have a different process. You might want to classify an opportunity type or an account type or add other data tables that you want to work with in addition to those accounts, contacts, leads and opportunities. All of that can absolutely be done. Now, when you are managing your opportunities overall, you want to get this picture of how things are going with them. And this pipeline view allows you to manage that. What we've got here is some nice colored bubbles that are showing us the state of the predictive score. How likely is this opportunity to close? And this is based on factors that you can tweak as well as what the system has seen in the past of what you've won and what you've lost. And this helps you spend the most time on the things that are the most likely to close. So we can see here that we've got coming up this one, which is a big circle. It's a high value opportunity. It's green. Our relationship is going well. We've got some other things in here that are sitting at grade B and grade C in the yellow and amber colors there. So if I come along here, 
here a little bit further into the future, this one isn't looking so good and it is worth a reasonable amount of money. So that can help draw my attention to that. For each of these, if I click this, we're going to open a little panel on the side and be able to see all of the information about the opportunity here, including that process flow that we saw earlier and all of the information there. And I can actually go in here and just make an edit right on that screen so that I don't need to click around. So the system allows you to manage your opportunities and manage that pipeline all in a single pane of glass here with that predictive scoring over the top of it. But one of the most exciting things about working with Dynamics 365 as your CRM is that it's a Microsoft thing that works beautifully with the other Microsoft things. So we have here Viva Sales, which is included in the Dynamics 365 Sales Enterprise license. And this is going to make your world a whole lot easier. This is around bringing the CRM into the tools where you're working into Outlook rather than having to jump back in there all the time. So you've got all of that goodness underneath. Here comes a new lead, a new email that's come through from somebody who's interested in buying coffee machines. She is not in Dynamics. Outlook knows that. Single click. And there we go. I have all of her details scraped from the email signature there. Save. That has now done my data entry work for me. I can also edit from here and update that information directly in Dynamics 365. And there's plenty more there that will use AI to help write your emails, summarize and copy it all back to CRM. But that's a whole other video. For more on Viva Sales or Dynamics 365 Sales, check out my other videos here. And thanks for watching.